right, we got the outside stuff. Really cool old metal porch swing. Blow mold back there. Lots of baskets. Cool old tiki lights back there, those little faded. All sorts of sports equipment, ladders, umbrellas, safety vests. Little boat motor. Quilts, jewelry bunks, insulators, watering cans, and yard decor, and some shelves. So that's pretty much what we have out here. These are really neat. Lots of nice furniture. Nice patio set. Stained glass lamps. I really like this. I might need that. That's pretty much all we have for furniture. We got a lot of train stuff. Some really cool ones. Those are pretty neat. And then long burgers. Look what this is. That's a dusting polishing cloth. See what we have down here. Easter. Fourth of July. That's a cute little stife Bambi. I actually like this guy back here. I might bet on him. All sorts of cool little medical tunes. Some candles. Some lantern we call it granite ware. More trains. American Fostoria. Hot Wheels and baseballs. All sorts of cooking jars. I really like this Benton set here. That's a very nice one.
That's kind of cool. It's intrigued me a little bit. Lots of glassware. Let me try for these crinoline plates and those little ashtrays there. Lots of exciting stuff. And then a couple things over here. So let's go check out the box hot room. Mm -mm.
Hey everyone, welcome back. We're doing the haul video now. As you can see, I brought home my blow mold. I had to go up against one of my competitors. I paid through the nose for it, but I wanted it. And so I got it. She was not happy. Um, but like I said, I work hard. I wanted this, so I got it. So as you can see, it's right here. They do make a reproduction of this that I've seen on eBay, and it looks like this is actually a cutout, as you can see here. They actually make a reproduction of this that's just a sticker, but this is the original Union products. So it's a rare one, and I'm glad I got it. It's gonna go in the Halloween decorations, but we'll talk about all the other stuff that I picked up. I didn't get a lot. There wasn't a lot to, ha to be had for me. As you saw, there was a ton of trains ton of longer burger baskets. I did bid on the Peeps basket. It went to another reseller. I got off, I think at 80 or $90. And I think she paid 130 for it, which with the box, it was selling for 150. So definitely not enough room for, for me and margin wise. So she ended up with it. Um, the Fenton glassware set that brought um, I think a hundred dollars and there just wasn't again, enough of a margin for that. So that one I let go, but I did pick up some great stuff. Start with this big mirror here. I'm going to show you this. This is a very cool mirror with the giraffe palm trees. This is going to probably go on Facebook marketplace or the shop. It's, it's a John Lee original. So it's probably from the 80s, but I only paid, I think, five bucks for it. So we'll put that on Facebook Marketplace or take it into the shop and sell it. I got a lot of dishes, and the main reason I bought the dishes was for the crinoline plates. Got the Hazel Atlas crinoline plates. There is a set of four of them here, and they're all in great shape. It also came with this very unusual Pyrex, I don't know what you would call this, serving bowl, I don't know, it's a very shallow piece. So I picked that up, and it also came with these two transferware plates. Um, they're both fair winds, the Friendship of Salem. So we'll look those up and see what they go for. And... And they came with this adorable set of Stangle ashtrays. So there's a total of four. So they're really cute. They're for card games. Back then, people used to like to smoke. These were little individual ashtrays. So that came as a lot. The Critical Plates should do pretty good. The little ashtrays were just kind of something cute and kitschy. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I also picked up this little Betsy Ross sewing machine. This is kind of a spur of the moment pickup. It has a cover and this great red, and it seems to, to move, so it does probably work. This is a child sewing machine, probably from the 60s, I wanna say. Comes with the instruction manual. So this should do I think pretty well. It's in good shape. Like I said, it comes with a little case, like a real sewing machine. Um, oh, let me make sure this is down where it needs to be. So you put that on, put this on, and then voila, your little carrying case. I did pick up a lot of, I think you saw me look at them, the 4th of July, tablecloths, whatnot. The main reason I bought it is there was some uh, Easter linens, which I've had pretty good luck with. So there's some napkins and a couple tablecloths that are in this pattern. So I think it's like a large tablecloth, um, a smaller tablecloth, and then a big stack of napkins. So I picked those up. It also came with an Easter apron 
and a bunch of 4th of July tablecloths. So this is the pattern. I think there's placemats, tablecloths. We'll take a look at these. Um, I'm going to say probably from the 90s. There was also two of these chair pads, which I have sold before. They seem to do really well. So I ended up buying everything for a dollar. So I couldn't couldn't beat that. That was a good pickup. Um, and I should be able to make some decent money on it. I'm trying to think what else. I think that's all I bought this, this week. Like I said, there was a lot of stuff that uh, was was not my niche and the longer burger baskets i know the peep called out to me that wasn't a unique one but it really wasn't my thing and the trains again not my thing so the the few things that i did like i think they went for more than than i could do anything with so i'm gonna try to get some of this stuff up online this week Pretty much everything, with the exception of this right here, is going to be for sale. So if you like anything, uh, leave me a comment down below. And uh, make sure if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button so you get my new content and everything. And feel free to share with your friends. We're, we're over 500 now, so we're doing really well. I think either this evening or tomorrow evening, I'm gonna to try to put together the little drawing package, put a post about it, and then uh, do a drawing maybe sometime next week for since we're over 500 of all the subscribers. So make sure if you're not subscribed, you get it subscribed. If I already did the drawing and this video comes out afterwards, I apologize, but still feel free to su subscribe. So. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we will see you on the next one.